gosh, it is graduation season once again. And shockingly, I have never been invited to give a commencement speak. And I think I would be a great commencement speaker. Uh, so here is my advice to the graduating class of 2023. And I'm talking about college because seniors, you know, I've, I've got a high school senior. She's graduating in a few short weeks. She has made the choice to go to college. Um, her dad and I have made it plain to her that if she doesn't want to go to college, if she wants to work, she can do that. Uh, there are a lot of people in this generation. Uh, we touched on it today on the Stuart Farney show on Fox Business. It's called fun employment. And so there's an entire generation of people who are graduating college who want to enter the workforce so they can enjoy fun employment because it's so much fun to not work. It's really great to just sleep as late as you want, have someone throw food at your head hole. There are all these generational stereotypes we have about Gen Zers and younger millennials because most of them are true. Uh, there are a lot of people who have entered the workforce who, or who were in the middle of college during the pandemic who are now graduating and, and leaving. And because they were told by people like AOC and Bernie that they wouldn't have to pay their student loan debt. And they you know, wouldn't really have to work if they didn't feel like it because society should take care of you. You know, they're called entitlements for a reason because you really are entitled to a handout. And so for the generation that invented quiet quitting, my advice to you, if you really want to be successful and you want to have a long and fruitful career, then work against some of the stereotypes that your generation has helped foster. And that means show up for work early. Uh, leave work a little later. Leave your problems at home. No one wants to hear you complain. And some of the best advice my dad gave me when I left home when I was 18 so I could enter the workforce. Uh, you know, I thought I was going to go to college. That lasted two weeks. I was not ready when I was 18. And the best advice my dad gave me when I left home was become indispensable. And I still internalize that and use that to this day. So if you are going to enter the workforce and you're leaving college, um, don't be so concerned about making a show about trigger warnings and feelings and safe spaces wherever you work. Uh, even Silicon Valley is dismantling some of the safeguards and perks that they gave to younger workers to keep them on campus and keep them to, from leaving and going to other companies because, hey, guess what? The, the job market is tightening as recession looms. So we have had the, the great fortune of having more job openings than workers. So people who are into quiet quitting and fun employment, they really have their pick of the litter and they could go from job to job and not really care. Uh, it's, it's a difficult way to build yourself a long-term career. And if you want to do that and still have the flexibility to go to a new employer with your reputation intact, then... I'm sorry to say, and it really sucks, but you have to work hard and work can be exhausting. It can be annoying. And if you do it wrong and if you do too much of it, it can lead to burnout. Burnout is very serious, but the prescription, the fix for burnout is not the opposite. It is, it is not to underwork. It is not to not work at all. Uh, it is not to shed the idea of having a work ethic. You, you don't have to have a good work ethic to be burnt out and vice versa. What it means is you have to get good at time management. You have to learn how to have a life that works in balance with itself. Uh, that means you have to put your phone away and not look at it constantly and get sleep and blah, blah, blah and all the boring stuff. But it is the boring stuff that leads to a good balance that keeps you from being burned out. And if you are able to keep your life in balance and you're able to over deliver and be indispensable and show up early and be reliable, running contrary to the stereotypes that other generations have about your generation, then you will do just fine. You are writing your own check. You are paving a road in gold for your own future and your parents have succeeded in whatever lessons they have imparted upon you. And now it is your turn to take those lessons and to make something of your life, which we all have to do. And the other big secret is even if you have a great plan and even if you work really hard, 
sometimes your life falls apart and the measure of a person is how they get back up and put themselves together and forge a new plan and take other necessary steps when the road diverges, sometimes totally against your will. Uh, those are the people that employers find most impressive because it means you have a compelling story, uh, but also you're able to roll with life's punches. You cannot control everything. It feels like you should when you're in your 20s, but you have to let go of that notion and you have to go with it and do whatever you can that's within your power to create your own personal environment that people want to interface with and be a part of. And then uh, you can go through life successfully and being successful. As Bill Gates said, you are the one who will be successful if, if you have been through failure and you know how to rebound and rebuild from that, which will be a very necessary and sometimes unpleasant skill. But once you have it, the scary things in life are a little less scary. Now, having said that, if you don't want to work, if you want to be fun employed, and if you are employed, you want to engage in some quiet quitting and go from job to job and not really plant seeds anywhere, just get the hell out of the workforce because like I've talked before on this podcast about there is an army of old people who will take your job. They will take your job. They will work hard. They will show up. And they won't feel bad about it at all because they have been elbowed out of the way uh, through ageism by other generations. So they are taking back the twilight of their working years. And if I were employing a bunch of people, I would go to the old people first and probably to the brand new workers last unless I knew for sure uh, that they wanted to work hard, be indispensable, and high five everyone around them. Uh, I hope that your journey is interesting. I hope you travel. I hope you save enough money for a rainy day and somehow make your own umbrella because guess what? The government is not going to be there for you, making sure you don't get wet. I don't care what the socialists say. Uh, money is, government money is still very much a zero sum proposition. Uh, have fun, be fruitful, have children if you choose. And uh, until your next commencement, when you inevitably go back to school because working sucks, I'll give you more graduation advice. Then, this has been Kennedy Saves the World. I'm Kennedy.